Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I am excited, a little bit scared. Our streak is still going here, and we're gonna random. Just don't give me Maggie or the Lost. Okay, I was gonna say Eve. I was gonna throw Eve in there, but that's all right. We can try to be creative as Eve. I can make it work. We got Curse of the Labyrinth, and uh, no consumables, of course. An early fight against Pride may give me Anarchist Cookbook, or it may just give me some consumables. I have to be honest here. Oh, that. They, this could have gone worse if I'd been hit by one of those bombs. I mean, I would have been in the Horror of Babylon state, but I also would have been about, you know, one bomb away from getting dick-fucked to death. Some words just have a wonderful cadence. All right, I'll be fine with safety cap, and two of clubs gives me some extra bombs should I need them. Uh, yeah, I have to be honest, this is uh, the first episode I've recorded since uh, returning from Christmas holidays. And Kate and I went to uh, lovely... Quiet Victoria BC had a great time. What this means uh, is that I haven't recorded Isaac in like five or six days, and I think that's the first time in my life that I haven't played Isaac for five or six days. No, but in all seriousness, it's the, probably the first time since the release of Rebirth that I haven't played it in five or six days. So I, I'm a little anxious, especially considering that the you know the whole weight of the streak hangs on this. So I'm hoping that we get a little bit, maybe of a, a bit of leniency from the game. You know, maybe they find it in their hearts. Tomo, just relax, dog. All right, it's just a pillow. You know, it's not gonna bite back. You know, um, but yeah, I'm hoping that maybe the game has a little bit of leniency. And of course, I've taken some not so fantastic damage there and possibly botched my chance at. Whore of Babylon, or not Whore of Babylon, deal with the devil, but that's not necessarily the end of the world, nor is it even necessarily true, we still do have some chance at a deal with the devil, uh, if we play our cards right. And honestly, sometimes you just kind of have to eat it on the first floor as Eve, that's my philosophy at least. A lot of people really like Eve as a character, I don't, <laughs> I still, I still don't. Uh, I understand the the value of Eve. I understand the value of Horror of Babylon. People always accuse me. They say, "Oh, Northern Lion, you know, if you don't like Eve, you don't understand how Horror of Babylon works." Quite the opposite. I, I love Horror of Babylon. I think it's a uh, it's what makes Eve, you know, somewhat viable. But I also do find that you know you're sitting on the the razor's edge a lot, which which scares me. You know, do you want to? The only way to get Horror of Babylon conceivably on the first uh, set of floors, the only way to get that damage bonus and really be beneficial or be benefited as Eve is to take damage. And, you know, sometimes you can do that via Blood Bank, sometimes you can do that via a Curse Room or something like that, but oftentimes you just end up kind of eating it. Uh, I'm gonna... not eating it. Uh, I'm gonna pop two of clubs just to make sure that we can get this right away. Uh, maybe get a Spirit Heart? No? That's alright. I'm gonna open it, actually, because we're... Okay, interesting. I opened it because we have one key, but we don't need that key for this floor. Of course, we could need it for the next floor, uh, but I chose not to think about that. So that judgment is very interesting. A speed upgrade is fine. This cat is going absolutely batshit crazy in the background. Uh, where did my other bomb go? Oh, I used it to get the pill. Now I feel like an idiot. There's another tinted rock right here. Mind you, the pill was a speed upgrade, so it's not the end of the world, but still, that's a little disappointing. Also a little bit disappointing, the fact that we have not yet discovered where our item rooms are. I wouldn't hold out a lot of hope for boss rush here, I would just, you know, try to worry about survival more than anything else. We're already three minutes deep here. The good news is, of course, we are on the first floor. And, or sorry, uh, not the first floor, the basement. Which is the first floor, but not all first floors are the basement. Uh, we, we could be in a worse position. I actually am going to take a little bit of time to shoot this poop here because I want to make sure that if uh, there's any extra cash, we have the opportunity to get it. We may actually want to pick up that red heart, to be honest with you. Maybe not yet, but uh, just to know that it's there for the future. We could go to the curse room. If we've already taken red heart damage on this floor, we might as well, you know, give ourselves the chance to take a, a deal with the devil item or maybe some extra spirit hearts from our curse room. And then we can get back to full HP or stay in Horror of Babylon State, depending on, you know, what, what kind of criteria we want to stick to. Look. Magic Fingers is, is an item that's situational. Sometimes it's awesome. Apparently it scales with your own damage, which makes it actually kind of an interesting choice. But it's one of those items that, because it scales with your own damage, is actually... You know, I'm going to take this half heart before we go to the curse room first, just in case there's spiders or something in there. Um, but um, because it scales with your own damage, the, the better it is, the less you need it, if you know what I mean. Like, if you're already doing good damage with... Um, with your tears, what the heck do you need magic fingers for to cost you a penny to do like, you know, 0.3 times your uh, your actual tear damage? Anyway, let's ignore that for now. 
because we're in an interesting position. The reason I have not picked up that other HP is uh, hopefully somewhat obvious. We Oh, that uh, Tinted Rock actually blew up. Okay, so maybe we do want to pick up that HP. Kind of remarkable to me that we have not managed to find... Oh, that could so easily screw me. I'm going to take the full HP. I know it's, it's risky, but it well, it's not really risky. It's kind of the opposite. I know it's a, a bit of a coward's way out. It's a bit cowardly, but uh, I would prefer to... I mean, here's the thing. If you, if you go into these boss fights with full health, you'll still get the benefit of Whore of Babylon if you need it, right? Because you'll if you take damage, you'll get Whore of Babylon. So I don't really see the need to not stick with the way the plan's working right now. Uh, my hope is that if we enter Whore of Babylon state, we can do so constructively. Which means that, you know, either I have some survivability given to me via Spirit Hearts, or I have uh, traded HP away in order to get better damage. So Samson's Chain is fine. It's not amazing. We can use it to destroy probably pots is what we'll be looking at to maybe pick up some money to make this judgment worthwhile. And again, you know, it's been a slow floor. I don't necessarily feel like I've been playing super slowly. Kind of just, you know, luck of the draw to some extent. But um, we'll, okay, uh, may or may not be better. There is another pill back there, but, you know, we don't necessarily have good pills. Now, th this is something that I don't normally do, and this should really show you that I'm a little bit anxious about our whole, you know, streak situation here. You can get a little spin on that, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm breaking everything with Samson's Chain because I, I really, really do not want to lose. And normally I would not go through, you know, such great endeavors here. But I'm going to do it here because I desperately want to succeed. You could you could make an argument about what's better, safety cap or um, swallowed penny. I think swallowed penny has a little bit more of a guaranteed benefit. Safety cap could be amazing or could be terrible. Uh, normally I say the devil you know is better than the devil you don't. This time I'm saying fuck the devil. Let's hope we got an angel instead. Why are we being negative talking about devils here? Okay, famine. Of course, there is the very small chance that we get a wonderful uh, cube of meat. I am trying to... Well, not a, it's not a small chance that we get a cube of meat. I mean a, a wonderful level of, cube of cubes of meat, shall we say. I'm trying to do a little bit better about making sure that Famine has to run through Samson's chain. But my number one priority is basically just that he doesn't hit me. Which is a little bit trickier to set up than you might anticipate. That's ah, sort of. It doesn't really do that much damage. He's only there for like a fraction of a second. That's okay. He's gonna be in the the non-horse state soon. That's horse, horse, not uh, non-horse state. What he chooses to do with his sexuality is none of my business, quite frankly. You know, you could be a harbinger of the apocalypse in the street and a freak in the bed. That's that's what Ludacris said in uh, Usher's 2004 magnum opus. Yeah. Now, we're just going to finish this off. He's going to die. Ball of bandages. Doesn't really matter to me whether it's ball of bandages or cube of meats, as long as uh, the enemy dies in the process. Considering we are fighting Monstro, I think we have a very, very good chance. Well, we have the best chance that we could have had after taking that red heart damage of getting a deal with the devil. So I'm, I'm very happy about that. Uh, I'm not holding my breath necessarily for it. I am amazed that after all of the kind of due diligence that we did, still can't really seem to uh, get a spirit heart on this floor, which would really help me out when it comes to getting to Horror Babylon state. And being in Horror Babylon state with a couple of spirit hearts protection would really, really go a long way towards, you know, giving me confidence that we'll get a deal with the devil on the future floor, because that damage is really the largest predictor of whether or not you're going to take damage in the future. But let's see. No deal with the devil. Straight up HP upgrade. That's fine. I don't love this floor, but we did leave with more than we started with. Quite a slow little journey there for us, and we are on another XL floor. XL floors are both good and bad. Uh, particularly bad uh, for us ooh, to some extent here, I'd say. Man, or Babylon would be nice right now. Uh, bad because every time we, we do something like that, we're botching another, basically two floors worth of deals with the devil. So, uh, it, it's becoming a bit of a tricky situation here. I, I, I sort of wish that maybe I had gone with Horror Babylon on the last floor. By the end of it, at least. Uh, but, you know, we, we gotta pretty much play the cards that were dealt. And we haven't really been dealt a great situation here. Yet. 
And this is why I, I have a little bit less... That's good, though. That's why I have a little bit less fondness for Eve than a lot of other characters. Uh, a lot of other characters, their path for success doesn't necessarily have to run through risk. And that, you know, that's not totally fair to Eve. You can have a very successful Eve run without getting Whore of Babylon. It's just, it's harder earlier, if that makes sense. In my opinion, at least. I don't think Eve is the worst character in the game, either. Um, but I do think that maybe she's a little overrated. A lot of people say, oh, dude, I love Eve runs, man. Eve's so fun. I don't know if I necessarily agree with you on that one. I'm not blowing up the, the mushrooms, by the way. Oh, that's that's lovely. That helps out a lot. Holy Mantle uh, might have just saved our run, actually. We might, we might still be <clears throat> screwed for a deal with the devil on this floor, but on the next floor, we should have a much better chance of getting one, which it's a start, let's be honest. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, I don't think Eve is one of the worst characters in the game. I think she's not the worst character in the game, at least. Um, what I was going to say is I'm not going to blow up mushrooms, and the reason is Samson's Chain, you know, maybe like fully 50% of the time, you can get away from that explosion before it explodes, but if it's going to explode the other 50% of the time, I will probably be right there, which is not something I'm very interested in. But with Holy Mantle, I guess now we'd be stupid not to, so... Let's try it out. Yeah, there we go. We can always just walk out, walk back in, and blow up more mushrooms if we want to. It's going to be a little tedious, but the number one most important thing for me is just, you know, making sure that I'm actually going to live on this run, and that's not always 100% guaranteed. These guys actually aren't all that bad, to be honest with you. Why is that? I just, I have Steam notifications up right now, because every time Steam updates, it makes Steam notifications live for me again for some silly reason. Alpaca Patrol is now playing The Amazing Spider-Man 2. It's, I didn't know he was a fan. I'm happy for him that he's found a game that finally, uh, he can, he can really truly love, but it's just a little surprising, that's all. There we go. Two of diamonds. This is great with our judgment card. I'm just gonna hold off on it for now. Cause we might be able to get, you know, an extra 50 cents out of it instead of an extra 8 cents. But now we're gonna go to our item room and everything's starting to come up for us here. You know, this, well, alright then. This is, this is trademark Northern Line luck, I've gotta admit. Getting Holy Mantle on a run that was looking a little dire. Hopefully our second item room is as generous to us. It, it was not. <laughs> it was not as generous to us. Uh, and this is, it. Uh, you know, this is gonna... This decision's gonna stink for some of you. Uh -huh. But, um... I'm not gonna take the poop, because I think the poop is a terrible item. I may end up not using magic... Or, uh, yeah, magic fingers. But the chance that I do use magic fingers... The upside for that is better than the upside for poop without any question in my mind. I can't get enough, like, torque on this thing. There we go. Still didn't get anything out of it. Alright, but this is fine. It's gonna be a, a, a long run. Well, it, that, I can't say that with authority, but it's not gonna be a quick run. Let's put it that way. That's not very good damage considering I have Holy Mantle, but I, I'll forgive myself. I hope you can do the same. Did I show the seed? Oh, dude, I've been out of the game so long I forgot to show the seed. 2, 1... 9, 9, L, G, 9, 9. There you go. Well, with the beauty of YouTube, you'll still be able to see the seed, like, right as the run starts in that YouTube video description. I feel real silly about that, but, you know, it's you've been away from uh, work for a while, getting back into the routine. You know what it's like. We've all been there. Oh, whoops, I forgot to, you know, encrypt your credit card number. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, mister. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's, uh, move along here. I, again, this floor, not too much hope of a deal with the devil, I'd say. It's not a, it's not a 0% chance, but it's probably, well, it'll depend on whether or not we take red heart damage against the bosses, assuming the probability works the same way as Vanilla Isaac. I think that puts us at, like, a, uh, 33% chance, repeating, of course. Why does it always spawn down there, you know? Uh, but th that's okay, I mean, that's, you can roll the dice on that and win sometimes. Probably about a third of the time, if I had to guess. You know, I'm no math expert, but... Uh, Holy Mantle is saving us a lot of trouble here. And you know what? Holy Mantle plus a couple of Spirit Hearts. I know I've been saying that a lot. But it really does put us in a position where I can feel a lot more comfortable about being in Whore of Babylon. Wow, that hurts. That's really good. Of course, I'm breaking these mushrooms by accident when I couldn't break them on purpose before. And... There we go. Ah, still very, very slow. We might not even be out of the caves 
Yeah, it is the caves, not even the catacombs. We might not even be out of the caves by 20 minutes. Kind of just chilling over here. I do worry that um, those are the explodey types. They are indeed. Didn't need to pick up all that HP there, but I did. I didn't need to, but I did. Now, my ideal outcome for this floor is, like, we're going to do our due diligence. I'm not going slowly because I'm, you know, unfamiliar with the game right now because I've been away. I'm going slowly because we're doing no effing damage. What I'm thinking is um, that will alleviate itself probably on our first deal with the devil. Even if there's not amazing items, you know, we, we kind of, to put ourselves in permanent horror Babylon state with Holy Mantle would be a smart thing to do. So we'll, we'll take, you know, Headless Baby. Headless Baby's not terrible, but it's not good, necessarily. But uh, for this floor, I'm going to do my due diligence, and my serious hope is that uh, I can end up getting something from the shop and getting enough money to play this judgment with um, with two of diamonds in in play. Loving the the payout from these skulls, I got to admit. So far as oh, never mind. I might be a total asshole. That's the Joker card, and honestly, I think I'm going to use the Joker card right now. Not because I necessarily think we have a zero percent chance of getting a deal with the devil. Oh, that's good. But because I'd rather get that deal with the devil item early to speed us up a little bit and give us some actual damage so that we can attack these enemies. I still need to learn how to use Samson's Chain effectively, clearly, because I'm... There we go. Alright, we get Judas's Shadow out of this. Plus two of these. I gotta go for it, you know, I don't really care if we're Judas or Maggie or, you know, Lazarus or Eve or Blue Baby when we win this run. Just that we win it. So that's a big, that's a big boost for us. We have a lot of HP, well, relative to where we were before, we have a, roughly the same amount of HP. Um, but we also have Horror of Babylon working out in our favor. We have a deal with the devil precedent instead of getting bogged down in deals with the angel. And uh, the the Horror of Babylon active is so important for us. Like that That's an incredibly uh, useful part of what we got going on here. It's a tower card. So I'm thinking we do want to open this uh, golden chest if we can. There we go. Easy. We got a bomb for a key. That's not a good trade. No matter which way I try to spin it here, that's pretty terrible. Now all we gotta do is make sure we don't get hit twice, and now that we're actually dealing relatively okay damage, that's that's a lot easier to, to fathom. And again, get ready. This is gonna be a long one. This is not gonna be your super bombastic, shaggy, featuring Rick Rock, it wasn't me type jam. This is gonna be, you know, your your track eight on the Shaggy album and everyone's like man this album uh, you know I liked it wasn't me but it gets a little weird here in the deep cuts this is uh, a bomb for a black heart is a good trade a bomb for a key is a good trade uh, to have them both is very very nice now remember we do have two of diamonds so if I am gonna buy something I should take advantage of that uh, before I do it because that could screw us out of being able to get anything good out of this judgment now, as, uh, as much as we have improved our damage relatively recently, it would be awesome if we could improve it even more. I'm not loving our output right now. Oh, this is just a library. And I say just a library, but it's actually awesome for us. I'm going to roll Book of Revelations, even though Book of Belial might be better, because I desperately, desperately want to get... I'm not going to open that. Uh, I desperately, desperately want to have the chance to get a 4th level Bandage Girl, if possible. Even, like, I know this isn't anything for the achievements, but even a 3rd level Bandage Girl, or a 2nd level Bandage Girl and a 2nd level Meat Boy, those are still novel for me, so I would, I would still very much appreciate them if they showed up. If they don't, that's fine too. I realize I'm not taking the fastest path here as well. That's okay. Again, it's more of a just a due diligence type thing. And um, I guess, you know, we, we have to use one or both of the cards on this floor. One of them is Judgment, one of them is Two of Diamonds. It makes more sense to use the Two of Diamonds and take the Judgment. Okay, well, the there you go. Tactical Mushroom usage, you don't see that all that often. I feel a little bit better about myself now. Shall we check out our shop? Our shop has a piggy bank and a bottle of pills and a key and a battery. And honestly, the battery is pretty good, but everything else I could take it or leave it. 
This is the kind of Isaac run. I'm just going to be straight with you guys. I hate watching this kind of Isaac run. Watch the uh, Mathis. I'm not trying to fire shots at Mathis. He's a great, great individual. Does a lot of good work. But uh, while I was on vacation, because I don't know how to relax, I was watching Mathis play some Binding of Isaac. Motherfucker getting, like, epic fetus on his first item room, basically. All right. And then he goes around and he blows up all the freaking, you know, pots with Epic Fetus. It takes him like 15 minutes to beat the first floor, and I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, well, you know, Epic Fetus isn't really much of a speedrun item. And I'm like, dog, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And I, I hate doing that kind of due diligence, even though it makes you a responsible adult, but here I am doing it. And we got an HP upgrade as a result, which I don't actually like, but I like it because I can trade it away in the future. I'm not going to be buying anything for the shop except maybe a battery. A, a consumable battery. We should come up with some other name for those, you know? Maybe we got we got to start calling the uh, the battery item the rechargeable battery, because that's what it is. Whereas, um, or we could just call them chargies. You know, I got a chargy on the ground here. Anytime you add E's to, like, the end of something, like I-E-S or just a Y, it kind of comes across like some kind of, like, antiquated racial slur, though. So I'd prefer to avoid that if possible. Um, we can take this battery after we fight both bosses. All right, so we are gonna get uh, we're gonna get an orbital here, and that is pretty sweet. It's gonna be a cube of meat or a bandage. If it's a bandage, I will I will start you know not planning any kind of victory parade or anything like that because I know that there's a lot of things that can throw this off. But I'll be very pleased. Why is our range so bad? Did we get a range downgrade? Like that doesn't seem right given the circumstances. You know, this is actually in contention for the slowest Isaac run I've ever had, I think. We're at 20 minutes here, roughly. I would I would probably kiss goodbye to Boss Rush unless we can get into our mom fight in the next three seconds. Um, and we're only beating the Caves Par 1 boss here. This is like, I hope you had an extra long breakfast today. Hopefully this episode goes up on a weekend. Okay, so there's second level Bandage Girl. The dream is, you know, somewhat real. Second level Bandage Girl, I don't know if it's a better... Uh, set up than second level Meat Boy. I'm assuming that because second level Bandage Girl does charge so shots, second level Meat Boy probably fires faster or does more damage or something like that, but there's a chance that it's just a straight upgrade. Um, the ideal thing for me to do against Gertie here, well, A, just don't F it up, but B, if I could um, put ourselves in a position where I could get that uh, Samson's Chain to actually like be in the middle of Gertie, then we could just dodge, like, dodge Gertie without actually pulling on the chain and it would actually do some pretty significant damage over time in my opinion I think it, it's hard to get it in there without putting ourselves too much in harm's way though so I'd rather just be safe now it doesn't really matter if we get to deal with the devil here okay thank you uh, we'll get that we'll get this I'm not gonna spend our money on that other battery because we're gonna be at the HP cap anyway let me just go back to our shop, make sure I'm not making a terrible decision here. Yeah, I, I'm gonna get a key. The piggy bank, I can see some value in it. The pills, I'm not replacing Book of Revelations with the pills. People would they'd never forgive me. Um, and I didn't want to use Book of Revelations before we came down to this floor. It's another Necropolis XL, it's crazy. But we're gonna pop Book of Revelations. That should, I hesitate to say guarantee, but it should give us... Um, a very good chance of fighting war. Oh, fudge you, Tony. I don't want that shit. Oh. <laughs> I, now I need to find like a blood bang or something. Something to give me a small chance here of actually getting enough damage to make the game pay. Oh, that's not good. That's not where you want to be. I forgot I had Holy Mantle, actually. It's not a very smart thing to forget about because it's a great item and... Then uh, I'll just lose a spirit heart if you don't mind, and then, oh, you're charmed, and yet somehow still quite angry at me. So I'm going to just walk back in, walk back out. Again, prepare yourselves. It's going to be a slow run. Uh, I'm not necessarily in love with this here. You know what? We we actually... I'm, I'm very tempted to just use... I don't even know if I can hit the... Oh, that one will work. Yeah. Uh, I'm very tempted to just use judgment right now. I think I will. The reason I'm doing it is because you know, you might be saying, oh, you should have used it on the deal with the devil, but that doesn't work anymore. 
It may work, if, if, in case you're not familiar, in vanilla, if you pop judgment on a deal with the devil and he paid out with an item eventually, it would be guaranteed to be pulled from the deal with the devil pool. That doesn't work anymore, but it might work on rerolls, but we're not going to get rerolls. Pardon me, a little bit of coffee coming up there. Uh, and if we do get a, a D6 that shows up, we're not going to take it because we need to stick to our Book of Revelations plan here, right? So, you gotta, you gotta level with me or be okay with this on that one. Very much hoping we get a deal with the devil here because now I have too much HP. Well, why'd you take the HP upgrade if you've already got too much HP? Because we could trade it away, alright? It's not that big of a deal, don't worry about it too much. I'm not too worried about that bomb either. Uh, I'm a little disappointed that this whole run has been Curse of the Labyrinth. That does, it. you know, it might not seem like it, but it really does inhibit you. You get half as many, or, well, not literally half because the first floor can't have a deal with the devil anyway unless you get a Joker card, but um, you get roughly half as many deal with the devil opportunities, which really, you know, puts you behind the eight ball. It's not enough to, oh, such terrible damage. Little rusty, little rusty, I'll admit. Um, it's not enough to, to guarantee a loss, and it's not enough to for me to say, oh, if I lose, I can use that as an excuse, although I may anyway. But it is enough to to make it tougher. And that's okay, you know, this has not been a very fantastic EVE run for me from a lot of uh, perspectives. You know, on a lot of spectrums, I've, I've not necessarily played amazingly, and I have not necessarily gotten truly amazing luck, although I hesitate to say that when I have Holy Mantle, which is one of the best items in the game. But I still think we've got a totally reasonable chance of winning. Uh, like, n to the point where I'm like, I don't even want to say that this is like, I I'm not going to say we're favored to win, but I also don't think we're even close to being an underdog. Holy Mantle by itself is, is strong enough that, you know, you, you could never in good conscience call yourself an underdog and like mean it. The damage that I'm taking is very dumb. This is, um, well, what can I say really? It's Horror of Babylon, thanks to that full health pill. Don't get me wrong, I love the fact that there's a full health pill that maybe we could carry and save our life with at some point, but now is just not the right time for that item to be in our rotation and be happy about it. It's okay, these guys are relatively low HP. We'll keep Holy Mantle, which means I don't have to leave to crack open these skulls. It's still, like, Samson's Chain is, is good, but annoying. I hate to say it. Now, there, there are some very good, uh, kind of like Samson's Chain techniques you can pull. Like, for example, if some spiders are going to be running you down, make sure you put, um, put the chain between you and the spider. Actually does a pretty significant amount of damage, uh, percentage-wise, if your enemies don't have very much HP. Pheromones. Pheromones is okay. Maybe not worth uh, using it on a room like that. Well, Holy Mantle's gone. Are they going to hit each other? Come on. I'm a little bit perturbed. It's like one of the first times I've ever actually used pheromones offensively, and then I was offended by my usage of it. Well, I guess I could only really blame myself. That's pheromones again. Uh, that's a troll bomb. That's a secret room. So I would say this room in some ways was actually very lucky. Now we don't have a, you know what? Fuck it, I don't have the, I don't have the patience in my life to, to do this. We're just gonna place bombs. The speed upgrade is actually pretty good with Samson's Chain. And that's uh, another speed upgrade, which to be honest with you might be the only good pill in our rotation. Well, no, that's not true. We have full health and we have pheromones, which are both good, but you know, they're good, but they're not really good, you know? They're good, but they're not good. This room could be great though. Um, just another Joker car, just another day in paradise. Work with me here. It's weird, I, oh, that could be good. I, I sort of feel the need to apologize for the way this run is going, which, to be honest with you, is bullshit and makes no sense. There's no need to apologize for this run, we're still going strong here. Now, if we could just, uh, there we go. I don't really care about you, to be honest with me. To be honest with myself, apparently. There we go, oh, they, this could be great, actually. Okay, there we go, I'm gonna pop it right away. This is uh, potentially game winning right here. Okay, I feel a lot better now. So we're gonna take Death's Touch. Then we're gonna take uh, the ability to fly, which will really help us out when it comes to Judas's, or not Judas's shadow, but um, that's another Joker card. Well, we should really use two of diamonds now then. Uh, it'll really help us out when it comes to Samson's Chains. Too many different items named after characters here. Okay. Okay, this is good. 
Two of clubs. We'll pop that right away, because we're going to want to stick with our Joker card. Oh, man, that's a lot easier to use now. All right. Now, uh, you know, with Horror of Babylon, Death's Touch, Ability to Fly, we're doing some real damage. It's the only damage upgrade that we've gotten the whole run, I think. But that's okay. We also have um, Book of Revelations. Hopefully, we'll get something to pick up that'll make Book of Revelations perhaps even a little bit stronger here. Like a battery or whatnot. Like, our, our damage, I'm not complaining now, because this is by far the most damage we've done, and we, we really improved ourselves very quickly. As a result, pretty much, of Samson's Chains. So, you know, big ups to Samson's Chains for helping out there. Um, but I would love to improve our damage a little bit more as well. Hopefully the Joker card on the next floor works out for us. And I gotta say, um, despite not getting many deals with the Devil, the game has been pretty kind in giving us deals with the Devil that are actually functional. You don't always get that. Piggy bank. Well, you know, am I glad I didn't pay for it? Not really. I would have rather just not gotten it at all, but, you know, here we are. Born to be kings, we're the princes of the universe. Here we belong, uh, fighting to survive in a world with the darkest power. Just in case you were wondering what's up with that. I should... We haven't used Holy Mantle yet, okay. So it's like, I need to be careful. Wait, no I don't. Don't even worry about it. Alright, so that's one item room. We got an item room left. Uh, we got a shop. We got two bosses, one of which will be Mom. Very slow run here, but it stands to speed up now that we can actually kill enemies without putting ourselves too much in harm's way. Not a, not the, uh, the shop I was hoping for here. That's okay. Holy Mantle with the amount of HP and damage we have now, it's, it's almost unprecedented that we could really lose this. Uh, I, I appreciate that a lot. I really sincerely do. Now, I am going to fight the boss right away. The first boss. And I hope it's war. It's war... Uh, and again, I'm, I'm promising myself, I'm not going to be too salty if he pays out with a cube of meat. But I would love to see Bandage Girl. I haven't seen ever a level 3 meat boy or Bandage Girl in my own games. I've seen Kate get them all the time. She's had two level 4 meat boys. She's played the game like a third as much as me. Which is still like, you know, 50 hours or something like that. 80 hours maybe. There we go. Third level Bandage Girl. It's the first time I've ever seen it. So it's not, that doesn't give us anything for like the achievement or anything like that, but it's progress, man. That means something to me. All right, we're going to have to go back the other way to get to our last item room. And now, you know, I would say the streak is probably healthy and alive and well. The run was a little bit fragile. It was like a baby bird. We've made it uh, we've made it into a striking condor now. We got a striking condor flying through the sky. Condor. Let's uh move up and forget that I ever said anything related to Convoy. There could be a couple of different ways for our item room to be here. One of them could be down, and that would be faster. So I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna open that up. Sure, you know, you gotta get able. You might as well get it not in a room where you would expect to be getting anything, right? This is very exciting. We're, we're very close to fourth level Bandage Girl. All we need, I mean, and it's a kind of a big if, but, um, we need to not get Conquest on the next floor. And then, we need uh, Death to pay out with the Bandage, instead of paying out with the Cube of Meat. But even if we get Cube of Meat, I'll, I'll be saying, hey, thanks a lot, you know? I appreciate the fact that uh, you did at least give me a third level Bandage Girl by giving me that early Book of Revelations. I appreciate that. You smart, you loyal, you grateful. Temperance, uh, not really particularly useful for us. And before you cry, ah, but you could use it with the uh, Holy Mantle, get free Temperance play. It doesn't work that way. You take damage. You take damage. Which, you know, you may agree or disagree with it. Holy Mantle shows up often enough that, you know, I can understand not wanting to also give you unlimited HP upgrades and, you know, Demon Judgment plays and stuff with that along with it. But I understand that some people might disagree with my my assessment there, and that's totally fine, you know? It's the world doll move to the beat of just one drum. Nod Leaf is the item that I probably, and I, you know, not that the the community is one, like, homogenous en entity or something like that, but it's the item that I probably disagree with the common assessment of the most. I actually think Nod Leaf is not a very good item. With, I, you know, this if there's any run that's going to change my tune, it'll be this one, with a third level, you know, Bandage Girl or Meat Boy familiar, Possibly come into a fourth level, that would be awesome, but uh, 
I, uh, I, I don't like it because of, it forces you to change your playstyle in a way that is not fun for me. If you like it, that's your own personal thing, and I'm very happy that there's an audience for that, but uh, I really don't like just standing still, letting, uh, letting Bandage Girl do the chewing here. I assume Bandage Girl still charms when she uh, attacks occasionally. Oh, she shoots. That's surprising. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, let's, let's see what fourth level does. I hope fourth level is just like a permanent shears, basically. All right, there goes Holy Mantle. That was just laziness on my part. I didn't see the foot coming down in time because I wasn't being as vigilant as I should be, and now we're done. Uh, a lot of people complain that they never see the dark room. So you know what? I think this is a, a run that's dark room worthy. Just don't make the mistake of not going to the dark room. Like if you come down here, you gotta you gotta go to Shoal and you gotta go to the dark room. So just pay attention to it. It wouldn't end our streak anyway. We, we might as well use the utero card. There's gonna be people who are like, oh, you shouldn't use the utero, or sorry, you shouldn't use the Joker card because you can use it on um, the Cathedral and you could just get a deal with the devil here. You're not wrong, but I would rather just get our deal with the devil early. If it was a really really dire circumstance, I don't know. Maybe I might change my tune. If I was like two deals with the devil away from a victory, maybe. So, kind of uh, quietly, we've pieced together a really nice synergy here, and that's Dark Bum, the ability to fly Samson's Chains. The ability to fly, more optional, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll try it here, because we should be able to kill these enemies fairly quickly anyway. Um, but we, um, we can crush all of the special rocks in the womb. They have a very good chance to pay out with red hearts. Occasionally, they'll they'll kill us or hit it, hurt us. But we have holy mantle to protect us, so we can just exit and then come back in. And dark bum can feast on that delicious bounty, and that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be wonderful. Well, there's, when there's enemies that stand still, third level bandage girl chews them up here. That actually does make uh, Nod Leaf perhaps a little bit more viable for me. Not that it's not viable; it's just kind of annoying. For the most part. For me. Not for everybody. I know Nick Nick really loves it. That guy's crazy. Lucky me. And of course there's gonna be people out there who are like, why would you take Dark Bomb? You're already like at the HP cap. Well, honestly, part of my reasoning was that I'm not sure if you still spawn. Eh, that's alright. I'm not sure if you still spawn the um the horseman boss. If the spirit heart doesn't end up being viable, you know, if you use uh, Book of Revelations, but you're already at the HP cap, maybe s through some dumb glitch, it doesn't count as having been used. I don't know. The other reason is why not take a three spirit heart deal with the devil um, when we can generate three spirit hearts ex exceptionally quickly, partially as a result of the very item we're picking up. But anyway. Uh, we should be fine on this floor. We've already seen our deal with the devil. The most important thing for me now, it, and I don't have any control over it really, is just trying to make sure, if possible, well, I might as well use this, trying to make sure that uh, we fight death, okay. And now there's a 50-50 chance of us getting fourth level bandage girl, which is by far the closest I've ever come to that. I mean, third level... Bandage Girl is the farthest I've gotten, and then to be fighting death here is very nice. This could be a landmark run for a couple of reasons. We'll see, though. We're gonna see in like two seconds here. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I love it! Okay, fourth level Bandage Girl. It has happened. You made a super Bandage Girl, and I got an achievement. A bandage is what that achievement is called. Oh, this is exciting! Finally! Still need to get the meat, but the bandages are are legit now. How much damage you do, bandage girl? I'm assuming a lot. You're gonna need to find the enemies first, though. Oh, we got a truck in convoy, convoying through the night. Sounds like you should get some sleep, man. I don't want you driving out there on the road on no sleep. Now, if you've got a nocturnal sleep schedule and you're a a truck driver, that's fine, but, uh, you know, be, just be careful, I'm saying, you know? Know your limit, drive within it. Now, seems a little impolite to complain about this run, but I will say, I'm not loving the fact that, oh, I can fly, right. I'm not loving the fact, um, should give Dark Bum that HP, 
that I uh, have, uh, you know, not that much damage, all things considered. I would like to have more damage. Oh, Northern Lion, you're so greedy. Whore Babylon, Death's Touch is all you need. It is all I need, but I would like more. You know, you've been to a buffet before. You understand the logic. Let's go. I know we could have let, uh, could have let Dark Bomb pick that up, but I don't actually want him to pay out if he's close to paying out because I want him to pay out on the next floor, which, by the way, we took the negative, so we'll be going to Shoal, and then we'll be going to the Dark Room. Remember, negative, Shoal, Shoal. We're going to Shoal. I can show you the world. We will conquer Beelzebub. That's it, Zebub. I believe that's one syllable in the English language, right? All right, good. That's a little damage. It's all good, though. Where am I going to use this lemon party? I um, If I don't get anything better, I may end up just using it against uh, the the dormant terrestrial form of the lamb. You are dead. See, like, my damage is fine. It's just, it's not that incredible. Good enough to win, but not good enough to make me feel that good about our win. Well, I feel pretty good because we got... Uh, we got the fourth level bandage girl, which I'll admit appears to not really be doing all that much. But what if I, uh, what if I just post up in this room and go go nod leaf? Let's see how this. Oh, this is relatively solid. I kind of like it, mind you. Seems better for us to just you know fight the things ourselves at the same time. But against a stationary enemy, that seems really good. I do not want that health upgrade. So, I would assume that against uh, Blue Baby, this Bandage Girl is going to be off the chain. Additionally, if we ever lose our Holy Mantle Charge, we could just, you know, bow out. Just get Bandage Girl close enough and then say, you know what, we're, we're done for now. There we go. Not the most damage in the world, but enough damage to be nice. Uh, I, I got it. With three red chests, like, that's what I was hoping for, is something like this. And you know what? I really don't mind this deal, to be honest with you. Demon baby, especially if we're uh, if we're stationary, who cares? If we're in our nod leaf state, we got no problems. All right, balls of steel. I'll pop it. I think we needed one spirit heart. I know we could have just used uh, could have just used book of revelations, but at this point, I kind of feel like it doesn't really matter in the least. This has been a, a very unusual run for me, but one that I'm I'm very very happy with. In spite of the fact that, you know, damage could be a little stronger. Death card ended up not being quite the boon that I thought it would be. Uh, you know, not that the dark one has a ton of HP or anything like that. And this one should be over very, very soon. Alright, well, you know what? You, you hit me. You did it. I'm proud of you. Not gonna use Book of Revelations just because... I don't know. Dark Bum will probably pay out. That is a Hagalaz rune, which, you know, we, we pretty much are a living Hagalaz rune right now. So I don't really mind just keeping Lemon Party instead. Hagalaz might be one of the least useful runes in the game. I would rather have, like, Burkano or something like that. Now, Burkano is not that amazing. You know, three spiders. Ooh. Stay still. Stay still. Three spiders, three flies, but, um, you know, better than Hagalaz, I think. Come on. Meat Girl, what are you doing here? Two Lemon Parties. Well, we can pick that up. We can pick that up. Yeah, we must be at full HP now. Easy. All right. Satan should be coming right up. Credit card. We can use that for free deals with the Angel, but we're not going to get any deals with the Angel, so I kind of don't care at all, really. It's a nice warm-up. Very easy. You know, we're fighting the Fallen. Dark Bum probably should have picked that up. That's my bad. No, you don't understand. You got to be in there. Yeah, there we go. Good start. Good start. If only we had, like, Mom's contact as well. That would be so good. All right. I want, I want Bandage Girl in there. I'm just going to kind of post up. And I think Bandage Girl, if, if Satan keeps getting close, Bandage Girl will get close enough to do damage on its own. I have faith. Yes, there we go. Okay. Demon Baby was still trying its best to do some work there. And you know what? I bet we can just kind of like come up down here and uh, let the feet hit us and Bandage Girl will eat the shit out of them. Or try at least. 
Or the feet will explode themselves on uh, on the bombs that will inevitably chase me down when they aggro. Yeah, you know, I mean, this is not the most exciting way to fight the bosses, but it's kind of novel. It, I, I've seen people, you know... Uh, if you're doing this on a non-lost run, what went wrong in your life? But you have, like, Nod Leaf. By the way, this would make a great lost run with the items we have. If only we could have gotten them a little earlier, I guess. But um, they'll get, like, Nod Leaf and the Leech. And then they'll be like, I'm fighting Isaac with Nod Leaf and the Leech. It's going to take 100 years. And I'm like, really? Like, you know, you can just shoot him. I'm not trying to say, like, oh, you know, get better. Get better at the game. I'm not trying to be an asshole like that. More just like, man, I don't know, that's a, that's a lot of time for an outcome that is, like, guaranteed. We've got a couple of uh, very, very nice familiars working, working wonders for us here. If you don't have those, it could take you your whole life if you wanted to, to do this. Like, our, our, uh, our bandage girl is actually dealing more damage than our tears. So it's kind of nice to just, you know... Go downstairs, have the continental breakfast while Bandage Girl's taking care of everything else. Probably don't need a luck down at this point. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll fight him a little bit. Seems like we can keep Bandage Girl kind of in the loop here. And uh, three carrying queen, not so bad. This run has ended up being one of the most OP we've had, but uh, it didn't start out that way. We had to work relatively hard for it. I know it's, you know... Oh, we did lose Holy Mantle there. Uh, I know that's like, you know, people are going to be like, Oh yeah, you worked really hard for it with those like eight Joker cards. But hey man, we got those Joker cards because we uh, dared to use Samson's Chains a lot. You know, that it, it's work. It's not necessarily hard work, but it's work nonetheless. I love the idea of standing still on this room because all of these enemies aggro like directly towards us. That is the defining characteristic of whether or not I choose to spend the room just kind of chilling and you know demon judgments doing its own thing as well but mostly i'm loving this fourth level meat boy that has the audacity fourth level bandage girl sorry give credit where credit's due that has the audacity to stand in there and go toe to toe because it's invincible and thus suffers no risks itself mostly i am kind of hoping you, you really can't hit these enemies if they're invincible that seems like bullshit well now i can't leave Invisible, I should say. Now I can't leave because uh, if I move, I'll get hit. I'm gonna have to let Demon Judgment or Demon Baby handle the rest. Weird. All right, so get Bandage Girl aggroed on one of them. Then we have to find the Energy Quizzle Mega Man. You gotta forgive me; it's been like a week. Sorry. <clears throat> Peter B. Energy was horses. I've never seen anything like this on Oith. I was like way more excited than the Doctor Light normally is. Long ass run here. Come on, War. What do you want here? By the way, thank you, War, for actually allowing me to achieve my dream of becoming, uh, well, getting a fourth level bandage girl on this run. Taking us a little closer to the, the Platinum God achievement that has eluded me. Mostly because I haven't been, like, actively grinding out the few remaining things that I need to get. But, um, you know, there's there's been some trickiness involved as well. You are so dead. Did we lose Holy Mantle? I don't think we lost Holy Mantle. Not that it really matters. So the streak will be going to 14. I don't know what my best streak ever in vanilla was, but I don't think it was that much higher than 14. Like, I think I had, like, a 25 streak or something like that, but it wasn't like I ever popped off, like, three months of wins in a row at one episode a day. So um, we're actually... I'm very, very pleased with our performances lately, and uh, I'm, I'm very happy with the way things are going. It's probably another room where we should just stay still, and uh, honestly, Demon Baby will do a lot of damage to the spiders, and Bandage Girl can take care of the rest. Not much of a concern here from my own perspective. Did I just say mine own? You know what? We'll be back. No, I'm not going to leave right at the end of a win. That would be pretty foolish. You never know when the next one might be. I don't like the opportunity that they've given me here to hurt myself on this room. This is really the perfect run if you don't have like a... The... Is it Dark Boy? If you don't have the Dark Boy achievements. The ones for... Um, Beating a uh, dark room in the chest without taking damage Maybe dark room or the chest like this is you could just sit still on a room and, and most rooms will just go down These guys don't aggro to me quite as hard as I'd like but they also uh, Don't have very much HP at all, so it doesn't really matter. I think I'm gonna fight them 
What's the point of shooting, you know, enormous death spikes out of your eyes if you don't actually uh, shoot enormous death spikes out of your eyes, you know? Seems like kind of a waste of a of a game-given gift. Not game-given gift. Ooh, I know. Okay, here we go. Lemon party. The lamb is slow enough, at least until it does its charge attack, that I'm pretty sure Bandage Girl's gonna kick the shit out of it. I don't know if it being charmed helps us out at all, but... Pop Lemon Party down there, and that's gonna take care of the terrestrial form pretty easily. Uh, there goes Holy Mantle. You know what? Ah, I was gonna, like, go into Nod Leaf state and just be like, let's not take damage at all, but hey, we did it. It was a run that looked a little tricky at times, but we came through in the clutch, and the game came through in the clutch. I appreciate that, working in concert together. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. That's 14 now. If you did enjoy the episode, click the like button. It helps out a lot. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.